Hey, what's up everybody? This is All Album Mobile Wiz Tech and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about and doing an install for the Mobile Pixels Duex Pro portable laptop monitor. I'll also let you know my thoughts if it is worth it or not. And I'll be jumping right in right after this. Now, if you're interested in receiving more content like this, you make sure you hit that subscribe and the notification bell button. That way you can always stay informed whenever I post content like this on my channel. Let's have a look at the packaging real quick. Flip this over to the back. As you can see what comes with this, you have your Duex Pro. You also have your first cable, which is the type C to right angle type C. That's what you're gonna use for your displaying. And then you have your type A to right angle type C. So depending on what ports you have on your laptop, these are the, one of the two cables that you will use. And then you have 12 metal plates. And again, that's what you will use to stick or install your Duex Pro to your laptop. And let's look at this real quick. As you can see here, you have two different viewing modes. You have the first one when it's facing you that's pretty much like your standard viewing and then you can flip it around or swing it around to the back for that presentation viewing so that's pretty cool that you get those two options all right so let's go ahead and open up this package all right so we're gonna slide this off here and there is the installation guide that's on the inside so that way you know you don't have to look for a manual. There's more information here, but this tells you how to get this installed into your laptop, okay? And here are your 12 metal plates that you will use to install your Duex Pro. So you shouldn't have any problems with your Duex Pro being installed to your laptop. So you have this must read how to fixture your display. Turn this over. So it makes it pretty easy for you to get this installed. We're gonna use this installation guide as it'll be easier to follow along with, especially for the video. So for step one, attach four metal plates over each magnet. So you're just going to grab four metal plates and you want the adhesive side to be facing you. So just stick them on there. Again, they are pretty strong, so. All right. Okay. All right. For step two, it states, parallel the monitor to the sides of your laptop. All right, so as you see there, it wants you to have everything lined up. And then for step three, the first screw must extend beyond the laptop. So that's the key. You want to have these screws past the laptop screen or else it won't open up. And these are the screws they're referring to. You have one screw here, as you can see, and then you have the other screw that's right here. So you want to have those past the laptop screen. Now this is the top part of, when you, with the little tab, that's the top part of the Duex Pro. And you want that towards you as you place it on the laptop or else it's gonna be upside down. So make sure you know that. And here's my laptop. All right, and this is facing me. This is the front part of my laptop and you'll know that by just opening it up. So you want that part facing you and again, you want the top part to come towards you. And then step four, before I get this installed, it states, the monitor must be seated against the tabletop during use. So it's gonna rest on this when you have it opened for support. Okay, so let's get this lined up. The way I'm doing it, I'm filling for the screw, so that way I know I have it past the laptop screen. All right. Okay, make sure that's there. 
Yep, I have that there, have that there, make sure it's lined up. So I have that on there. This is a fingerprint manic, as you can see, but it easily wipes off, so don't worry about that. Just make sure you have it lined up, just as it states here, and then you should be good. Okay. And then once you're done, you just go ahead and apply a little pressure. Once you have that done, let's go ahead and open it up and then you should be good. So if I want to slide this out, you got to apply a little bit of pressure, but there you go. And open this up a little bit. There you have it. See if I can get a better angle for you. You can see it better there. You can see how it's able to open up just fine. And now I need to go ahead and get my cable to connect it to the monitor to give it power. So I'm going to use the type A to right angle type C for this setup. All right, so let me go ahead and get this plugged in. All right, I'm gonna plug in this in and then plug the other in to this port here. And that's that to go to this link and download your display driver. So once you go to the site, let's see if you can get a better view there. Once you go to the site, you can read the disclosure and go ahead and click on I understand. And then now you're going to go ahead and accept. And then it start to download. So once that's finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and install it. Now I'm going to go ahead and right click and run it as an administrator. Just as it states here. As you can see now that it's installing, I'm going to go ahead and do the install here. Wait for this to complete. All right, so that's finished. Now I can go ahead and plug the cable in. And as you can see, it's turned on. So it turned out that I didn't have this plugged in correctly. So you want to have it, you want to make sure that it's plugged in. Let me show you right here. This portion, you want to make sure that this plug is plugged in correctly. Because if it's not, then it's not going to recognize it. But uh, with that stated, all the steps there work. And here you have it. Now the last thing I need to do is go ahead and get it extended. So I'm going to go to display settings and scroll down a bit. And then instead of duplicate, I want to extend. So let me grab the mouse here. And if I were to, of course, drag this over, as you can see, it goes back and forth, no problem. Now I will say that this monitor is very, very clear. I do like uh, how bright it is. And let me show you that presentation mode real quick. All right, flip this around. And there you have it. Pretty cool. Let's see here. So pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I do like that. Now, ideally, this will be great for developers, content creators, vloggers, um, business people. This would be a nice addition to have, especially when you're traveling or you need to have the extended monitor. And instead of having a whole new set of hardware where you have to plug it in into a power source, et cetera, et cetera, you have this on the go. You could be in a coffee shop and have your extended monitor. Now, I wouldn't use this monitor for heavy streaming. Of course, you can play 
uh, YouTube videos, no problem. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. So here I am at YouTube. And if I want to play this video, slide it right over here. And it's definitely playing. So, and of course, when you're done with it, you can always unplug this here. Right? Just pl unplug that. You can always just slide it back in once you're done. Just like this. I'm keeping my hand here so the whole thing won't slide off. Get it in there. And then just close it. And you're all set. Of course, you could take it off too. But you will have these metal plates showing. So if you don't want those showing, just leave this on here. You're good to go. I wouldn't use this for gaming because you definitely won't get good benefits there. But do I think it's worth it? The price is a bit steep. I think the price is about $249, $249. I was able to get it at a discounted price. But if you're able to get it at a discounted price, I definitely think it's worth it. At $249 is pretty steep, so it really depends on you. But having it you do get a lot of benefits so there's a lot of things to weigh out there but i definitely think this will be a good addition and if you're interested there's definitely a link in the description use that link and if it's not the price that you like just be on the lookout for sales and you may have a good chance to get it at this kind of price this completes my review and installation for the mobile pixels duex pro portable laptop monitor if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also share and subscribe. I thank you for watching and until next time, keep it mobile.